Some in South Florida's Cuban American community who are happy that the Republican president elect has promised to undo some of President Obama's changes in Cuban diplomacy. But will he undo it all? Local 10 News reporter Hatzel Vela went looking for some answers for us, and he's live. Hatzel. Lori, Kevin, I can tell you that just about an hour ago, President Raul Castro did send President-elect Donald Trump a message congratulating him on the victory. But a lot of questions, of course, as to what is going to happen with U.S.-Cuba relations. We went seeking answers. We talked to two experts who say not much in the coming months, but eventually Donald Trump is going to make his mark. It's not a secret the Cuban government would have preferred a Clinton White House. President-elect Donald Trump has publicly vowed to reverse President Obama's six executive actions when it comes to Cuba. This after Trump said he agreed with Obama on Cuba, but wanted a better deal. I don't see much movement at all in the beginning, in the, in the first year, let's say, from the Trump administration unless the Cubans are willing to give in on a number of issues. For retired professor and Cuban expert Andy Gomez, a search in Cuban immigration is something that concerns him. Already there's a fear on the island the Cuban Adjustment Act will go away under a Republican administration and the Cuban government will have to forget about some concessions. There's no question, give us out of the question. Lifting the embargo, out of the question. Trump will likely tinker with some of the executive orders Obama put in place. Things like uh, the embassy will probably remain. FIU professor Sebastian Arcos thinks commercial flights will likely continue. But with the stroke of a pen, Arcos says Trump will likely change some of Obama's policies towards Cuba. Allowing the Cuban government to use uh, U.S. dollars in international transactions, that could be one. Allowing banks to make transactions in Cuba, allowing American companies to co-manage Cuban hotels, just some examples on the list of things Trump can change in order to keep up with the promises he made here in South Florida. Another big question, of course, is what role will Russia play in this three-way relationship between Cuba, the USA, and Russia as well? But for now, reporting live in Little Havana, Atzovela, Local 10 News.